continuing with the book, A History of the Life and Voyages of Christopher Columbus by Washington Irving. And we're in Cuba talking about when he was there. And it says here, on their way back, the time of the Spaniards, right? They, for the first time, witnessed the use of a weed. A weed. Now listen to this. Which the indigenous caprice of man has since converted into an universal luxury. In the defiance of the opposition of the senses, they beheld several of the native going about with firebrands in their hands and certain dried herbs. Dried herbs. So we're talking about a weed. Now we're talking about dried herbs, which they rolled up. They rolled it up in a leaf, right? In a leaf. And lighting one end, put the other in their mouths and continued exhaling and puffing out the smoke. So they were roll <laughs> they were rolling up, rolling up some herbs, right? Some dried herbs, weed that he just said. And um, you know, he's they're explaining how he they were puffing it, you know, smoking it up, ex exhaling, puffing out the smoke. These rolls they called tobacco so it was rolled in a tobacco leaf but it was herbs they were rolling they weren't smoking tobacco they were just using the tobacco leaf to roll up herbs now whether that's cannabis marijuana most likely but i know that they also smoked other herbs native american or american natives like sage and other uh herbs also not just marijuana all right but over here we see a clear description of what they were doing and you know they're t clearly telling you what it is dried herbs a name since transferred to the plant which they were made. 